I bought a huge box of 22 untested Wii consoles, and in this video, we're going to test and explore 11 of them and see if we can turn a profit or see if they're just garbage. Guys, welcome to an episode of Gamer Garbage. So I got my stack of Wii consoles over here, and we'll start with this bad boy right here, which is a little odd because it's got some uh, like red paint on it. It looks very yellowed. It's got this nasty stuff. It's got stuff just falling out of it. What in the world? Like <laughs> a bunch of crap just fell out of this thing and it's falling. Uh, it's falling apart. Let's plug it in and see if it works. So we got a red light here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Three, two, one. We got power. Oh, I don't hear a free game inside. Wait, do we have an SD card? We oh, do not. Let's we'll see if it boots. And ooh, oh, we got free. Yo, we got we got Galaga and Tech Mobile. Man, that's some throwbacks, man. I love getting these free downloaded games here. Uh, but let's go ahead and just put in a game in first to start off and see if it loads up. All right, we'll start with some Mario Kart. Pulls it in pretty nicely, despite how disgusting this console looks. And there it goes. Loads up pretty quickly. Uh, now, <laughs> what I'm really curious about, first of all, is this, this Wii Fit channel right here, which has got a bunch of... Yeah, it's got some people. Let's go ahead and explore and see the last time these people played Wii Fit. <laughs> Yo, I love how they run in barefoot and just it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, there it is. The 500... The 5,500th day. Hold on, that's a lot of years. I'm going to calculate this out real quick. 15... Wow, 15 years. I mean, that makes sense. 2009, but it's just like... Oh, that hurts my soul to, to hear 15 years since somebody played we fit whatever let's go back to the main menu and see what kind of mies this person has okay they got a handful here let me go ahead and call them in order real quick wait wait, wait. i got this one right here what is this clone what <laughs> no words but let's go ahead and we got j dog we got joey oh it looks just like joey oh we got we got me that honestly it looks a little too close to me than it should but i got we got four trevors a vamp and a vamp vampier. I guess I was to say vampire, but that's definitely not vampire. So guys, of course, up next we gotta check out the last time I was played, and I just scrolled back. We're back here in May 2011. It looks like they play they played Benton Protector of Earth. I forgot Benton existed. Uh, also, the vampire got some <laughs> got added to to to, the, to Wii Sports. But let's go ahead and go back. And last but not least, I want to check the console nickname. Lightning, like. Ka-chow. Ka uh, all right. <laughs> this console's not bad. I mean, it's got, I mean, no free game inside, but it's got two downloaded games, which is pretty sweet. Pretty dirty, though. Um, I don't know. I feel like a 3 out of 10 gamer garbage score is, is fair. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now, next up, we have this Wii that's got a, a Georgetown Alex sticker on top. 429.24. That's actually not that long ago. So what <laughs> What was this Wii doing at, at Goodwill? It actually looks pretty good. It's got both flaps and not too scratched up. Now, on the bottom, it has a warranty seal that's been removed. It looks like a GameStop warranty seal. There is a chance it was like a old DK oldies, but no, that, that definitely looks like GameStop. Uh, yeah, let's, let's let's plug it in and see if it works. And actually, first SD card, nope, no SD card. And by the way, guys, the consoles you see in this video will be listed down below for sale on my website at jrobgaming.com or scan the QR code on the screen. So go check that out. Uh, also, there's lots of other consoles and games listed on there. So go check those out. And let's go ahead and try to turn this bad boy on. It's three, two, one. We got power. Oof, no game inside. Unfortunate. Let's see if it boots. All right, boot it up here. And, whoa, <laughs> it is so blown out. I feel like I've seen that on a Wii console in the past, but so uh, I feel like people have said it's a capacitor issue of some sort. Uh, so that's unfortunate there. Scrolling around, no secret channels. We do have like Netflix, internet channel, all the kind of standard stuff here. Um, let's go ahead and start the Me channel and see if that works or <laughs> see if it works. Of course it works, if there's anything on it. We got a bunch of lookalike Me's. Like honestly, half of them look exactly the same. Like the, the blue or purple shirt and the, the ponytails. What is going on here? Let me go ahead and see what their names are. Oh, yeah, there's just like a million different Karas. Kara, 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 Kara. Dad. We got Daddy on here. What is going on with this console? Dude, so there's like, there's like 15 Karas, two Daddies, one Mommy, and then a bunch of just like random gibberish. So <laughs> definitely like a six-year-old made this. Maybe. It could also be like a 29-year-old doing this at the same time. But let's go ahead and put a game inside and see what happens. I can barely see it. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. It loaded up here. And while I'm thinking about it, I actually want to go check out the channel, the console nickname real quick to see if it's Kara. Is it? Kara's Wii. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't get any more basic than that. That's awesome. And then checking out the last time it was played, I have a message here in January 0th, 2023. Yo, hold on. They played Wii Sports for 20 minutes and guess what? They made, they added Kara. <laughs> Kara number 15 to the list. Uh, anyways, this console is working kind of, except for the blown out screen. Kind of strange, but... Because of that gamer garbage score, I gotta go with a seven because that's that's pretty crappy. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So next up here, I have another Wii that's a bit beat up, but still has both flaps, which is surprising. We have no SD card, and yeah, this one's actually pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie, but let's uh, plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one, got power. Oh yes, finally got a game inside. And if you guys are curious, you're probably wondering how I immediately know if there's no game or a game. Uh, it's because it makes like a clunking noise if there is a game inside. Let's go ahead and try to eject it here. 
We get. Yo, we got, we got a double game. Wait, 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 wait. They're, they're sandwiched here. So three, two, one. We got Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon Yumi Zoom and Space Jam Tasmanian. Wait, what is this? This is not even Space Jam. It's a Tasmanian Devil Space Jam thing. I've never seen that before in my life. And in other worst news, uh, the console's not showing up on the screen, which is not good. But let's go ahead and let me mess around with this for a minute. So next up here, we have a Wii that honestly looks extremely clean. Like, look how glossy that is. <laughs> I see like two scratches on top and that's it, which is amazing. But the flap is missing and the front piece is like jutted out, which is makes it even more strange. But, uh, oh, oh, we got an SD card. Let's go. Let's plug it in and see if it turns on. So this piece is kind of separated out. So I got to press the power button hard. There it goes. Turns on. Oh, there's a game inside. Let's go. Uh, what do we think it is? Probably Wii Sports, but let's check. And it's, <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, what? What is this? Did somebody try to burn a Wii game? I am so confused. Wait, this oh, this might be a modded console actually because we saw the SD card in here. Huh, okay, okay. Hold on, let's, let's boot this up. Oh, it is, <laughs> yes. Let's go, we got the Homebrew channel, Neo Gamma R7 WiiWare, or that's just the Nintendo channel. We also got Neo Gamma R8, I don't know what that is, but uh, this, this Wii also has the issue of just like a completely blown out screen. Let me actually go ahead and try to swap out my AV cables and see if that's causing an issue. Yeah, so by the way, guys, it was just my AV adapter that was not plugged in quite all the way, so now the whole blown out screen issue is gone. It was just an issue on my end. But let's go ahead and explore this console, see what's up with it. We got the, the homebrew channel, of course. We got these Neo Gamma things that I want to try out and figure out what the deal is with this, <laughs> this burn disc right here. But let's go ahead and start with the homebrew channel and just see what's on it. So really, my only Wii modding experience is with portable Wiis, which is kind of a different modding experience from these Wiis here, so I'm not really sure what all this stuff is. It looks like a bunch of installers for different types of files, but let's go ahead and just scroll around here, see if there's anything loaded up. We got... Nintendo emulator, homebrew browser. Uh, yeah, just some other emulators for different games. We're gonna boot up the Super Nintendo emulator and see if we got any games downloaded. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Yo, I think we have maybe every single Super Nintendo game on here. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let's just try, let's try make this Pac-Man, see if it works. Yeah, I mean, no surprise it is booting up. It's a Super Nintendo game, it's gonna work fine, but uh, that's, <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> that's hilarious that they have almost every single game downloaded here. But let's go ahead and go back to that homebrew menu and explore a bit more. Okay, we also got Wii Earth. Is it? Is that like Google Earth? Oh, that's sick. Had no idea this existed. Let's, let's boot it up. Oh, it needs Wi-Fi, of course. I, that's not surprising. Let's go back. We also got the Wii Media Player, which is I, which I assume is where you can play like DVDs and stuff. Actually, I wonder if that will let me play this burned, <laughs> this burned game here. Let's try it out. Okay, yeah, there's a button to play DVD. It's now mounting DVD. Okay, nope, does nothing. All right, so this should work for like a normal DVD. Actually, I can try this on <laughs> one of these DVDs we saw from that last uh, that last week, the Yumi Zoom here. Let's go ahead and put this in and see if it'll work. Yeah, there it goes. Sure enough, we're, play <laughs> we're watching Team Yumi Zoom, which I've, I've never heard of that in my life, but that's awesome. <laughs> Let's go ahead and eject that. So my only other thought here is maybe the Neo Gamma R7 or R8 will play. Let's try R8 Final. My only thought is that maybe this will... Wait. Oh, yeah, it's a picture of a disc going in a Wii, so maybe... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so let's, let's boot this up, and I bet this will play the, the uh, burned game. Yeah, there it is. Launch game on DVD. Let's go. Why does it pop up with a PAL 60? Did somebody, wait, hold on. Did somebody, I bet whoever burned this game accidentally burned the PAL version onto the game, which is hilarious. Uh, but it is working, which is amazing. I had, honestly had no idea you could play burned games on a modded Wii. It makes sense. I mean, you can play burned games on a 360 as well, a uh, modded 360. Um, now that <laughs> emulation is great and all, but burn games are kind of like a, a completely other line that I, I don't mess with that. I mean, you do you if you if you do, but not me. And yeah, here it is. <laughs> sure enough, booted up here. But yeah, this console is ridiculous. Um, let's go ahead and try out a real game and see if that works. Okay, yeah, Mario Kart does load up. Um, now let's check out the Mii channel as well. All right, so here on the Mii channel, we got four Mii's. Not much going on here. Chappie, Julie, BS, and Ob. Honestly, with a modded Wii, you'd think that somebody would like get creative. It just feels like if you mod Wii's, you probably do crazy stuff with your with your Mii's as well, but maybe not. Now, last but not least, we gotta figure out when this thing was played last, and we're in 2010 right now, still haven't found anything. Oh, wait, there we go. December 20, 2009, <laughs> long time ago, just messages here. There we go, all right, so we got some play data. Uh, looks like a bunch of random stuff, and then others. Oh, yeah, I wonder what others is. I think we all know that, but that's funny, guys. This, this, this whole console is awesome. I mean, this is definitely like a, I'll call it a two out of 10, because there was no free game, no, no real free game inside. So it's not quite uh, perfect, but yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go ahead and move on. So next up here, we have another Wii that actually looks pretty good. Got both flaps. Uh, on the front though, it's a bit dirty and like grimy. What in the world? No SD card or anything, but uh, yeah, let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. <sighs> no free game inside. But we'll see if it boots up. Oh, yo. <laughs> Wait, we got, a, we got a few games downloaded here. We got real fishing. 
uh, real fishing challenge. Okay, we also got the incredible maze, and we have fun, fun mini golf. That's hilarious. These are all like actual Wii games that are downloaded, not like not like classic games downloaded here, which is funny. Any surprises? Nope, no surprises there. We also have what is this? <laughs> this thing hasn't been booted up in so, in so long that it just gave me the Wii to Wii U transfer uh, thing right there, which is funny. But let's go ahead and go back and let's just start by putting a game in, see if it works. Sure enough, loads up right away. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel next and see if there's anything interesting. Oh, yo, we got a, we got a decent number of Mies here. Let's go ahead and line them up here. Ant Lins, nice. Barbie, <laughs> Ghost Dog, my man. <laughs> Syrup. <laughs> Syrup and waffles, dude. That's hilarious. I love how they spelled waffles wrong. I mean, to be honest, if there was a person named Syrup and a person named Waffles, that's exactly how they would look. So it's pretty accurate by Abby. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the last time this thing was played. June 2013, we got some play data here. YouTube on Wii. <laughs> We also got Netflix for 15 hours. That's, I mean, it's expected, but it's honestly a little bit sad how many Wii's I come across to just turn into Netflix watching machines eventually, which is, uh, you know, kind of expected. Let's go ahead and try. I want to try out this real fishing game and just see what it is. <laughs> I can't figure out how to fish. Literally every button combination does nothing and swinging it does nothing. <laughs> is there a control menu? Hold A, raise Wii remote up, swing it down and press B. Oh, there we go. That's an... Dude, I finally got a cast out there, but that's an awful control system. It was just so clunky. The fish got away. I, okay, this this game is horrible. All right, well, <laughs> Call to Works. I mean, it's got some games downloaded on it, but no free physical games. So I call it like a three. Uh, I call it a two out of ten. Uh, garbage score. But let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, next up, I have this Wii that is uh, uh, quite the interesting Wii. Uh, first of all, it's just completely destroyed. Scratches everywhere. Probably the worst Wii I've seen ever. We also have this $69.99 sticker here, which is from <laughs> April of 2013. So that's been there for quite a while. And yeah, it just looks really bad. But let's pull it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. And finally, there's a free game inside. Or free disc, I should say. I've seen, <laughs> I've seen like three consoles now where I got a free game, but it was just a DVD. But let's go ahead and inject it. Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, maybe. Mario Kart. <laughs> yes, let's go. Wii Sports, my man. And oh, it, it actually does not look too bad. It's got some scratches, but not bad at all. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see if it works. And yes, yeah, sure enough, Wii Sports is booting up. We got all the standard channels here. And you know what? I just kind of feel like booting up Wii Sports. I haven't played Wii Sports in a little while. I want to see what they've got saved on here. <laughs> well, the disappointing part is I booted it up and we have four Mies. We got Jay, Mia, Mikey, and Leo. So not much going on here, but let's check out, let's check out Jay. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Jay's best is 137 in, in Wii Bowling, which is just not great for Wii Bowling. I mean, you can just basically slam it like that and well, well not, not like that not quite like that but you can just you know what i mean you can be horrible at this game and get above a 137 like i i don't even try and there's a strike let's go back to the main menu and check out the last time they played oh nice so we're in Mar march 2019 we got some play data here actually got some play data on the next day as well played wii sports yep this is for sure the last time they played played wii sports for an hour and 21 minutes left it inside and then donated to goodwill a few few years later i guess um, but yeah always kind of surprising to see a, a wii played this recently, you know, that was five years ago at this point. But let's also go ahead and check out the nickname, the console nickname here, Jaden. Oh, so Jay was short for Jaden. <laughs> Makes sense. But uh, yeah, this console's nothing crazy about it. Works perfectly fine. Got a free game. Uh, honestly, like probably like a three out of 10 gamer garbage. It's pretty beat up, but free game. So can't complain too much. Let's go ahead and move on to the next console. Now next we're gonna go with the one black Wii we have in this bunch. And this one is disgusting. It's just, uh, actually most of that's dust, which is <laughs> better than grime. But uh, we got one flat missing here. Check out any SD card. Nope, no SD card. It is game compatible though, which is good to see. And uh, yeah, what, what happened here? Why is it so dusty? Well, let's, uh, <coughs> let's plug it in and see if it works. All right, three, two, one. We got power. Oh yeah, there's a game inside. All right, let's go ahead and inject it. Um, I'm thinking Mario Kart this time, honestly. And <laughs> yo, another copy of Wii Sports, my man. And dude, this one looks really good. Let's go ahead and just boot up the Wii Sports here and check out the Miis. So we got Derek, we got Keaton, Camo 13, Jordan, Opa, <laughs> Isra, Oma. So not a whole lot going on here. Uh, but let's go back. <laughs> let's go back to the main screen here, and uh, I want to check out the save data actually on this one. I feel like this one won't have much save data. Uh, but let's see here. And yep, I was right. We got Wii Sports Resort and Wii Sports. So I mean, great games, but uh, <laughs> just not much going on. And the console nickname is Irene, which makes sense. We saw an Irene in the Miis, but let's go ahead and check out the last time these people played this Wii. All right, here we go, September 2012. We've got some play data, Wii Sports for 17 minutes and then <laughs> dump it to Goodwill. Pretty typical, but guys, this console's good to go. Probably a three out of 10 garbage score. I mean, it got a free Wii Sports game, so uh, that's cool, but 
Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Now next up we have this Wii that has something a, a bit sus on it. I don't know what that is. It looks like something, something stuck to there. I don't want to touch that. But otherwise, other than that, the console looks pretty good. Not too scratched up. One flat missing. Actually, uh, there's something rattling around inside. But do we have an SD card? We do not. Well, let's plug it in and see if it works. I have this weird feeling that there might be like a broken disc inside of this one. Uh, okay, nothing inside, but it, it doesn't sound great. Not really surprising from that rattling we heard earlier, but let's go ahead and make sure it boots up. Yeah, it looks like a pretty standard Wii. No secret channels, looks like, yeah, standard. Let's go ahead and plug a Wii Sports disc in here and see if it works. I mean, I guess I was wrong on this one. I, I thought for sure this one would not read games, but uh, another perfect one reads up fine. Let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel and see what they got on it. I feel like this is definitely like a, a two me Wii, but Oh, nope, they proved me wrong. Let's go. We got like, what is that, 17 Mii's here? Let's go ahead and check them out. Wait, 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 hold on. Some of these are the same names as that last Wii. Are they not? Oma and Opa? I could have sworn Oma was on the last Wii as well. I, I almost wonder if some of these Wii's were in the same family and then donated at the same time. Like, oh, it's always possible. Oh, uh, yeah, Mangle, Mom. Another Oma and Opa. Slender Gal. <laughs> Dude, I can't even see her eyes, her nose, and her mouth are so small. <laughs> So we got a bunch of just standard bees, and then we got Slender Gal, which is funny. Uh, let's go ahead and go back and check out the last time this thing was played. All right, July 2016, we got some play data. Netflix, and wait, what is that? Monster High Ghoul Spirit. Never heard of that. Uh, wow, they played a, a large, they played Netflix like five different separate times with five, five hours total for that day. And uh, yeah, and that was about it. Now, one last thing I wanted to do here is actually boot up Mario Kart. We saw we have some Mario Kart Wii save data. So I want to boot it up and just see how much they progressed in Mario Kart. Oh, yo, let's go, Dad. Dude, Dad's got gold on almost everything except for uh, the mirrored courses, which is, ah, man, that's that's pretty impressive. Let's go ahead and, I mean, this console's good to go. Uh, I'd say like a 4 out of 10 garbage score. It's, I mean, no free game, but not bad. Actually, no, because of this little uh, <laughs> booger, this is a 7 out of 10. Now let's move on. All right, next up we got this Wii that has some styrofoam straight up stuck in the AV port. Hope I can get that out without getting it more stuck in there. Uh, there it goes. And yeah, other than that, it looks, I mean, it's pretty gross. Pretty standard Wii. Missing one of the AV ports and actually, there's like, there's like some glitter that fell out of this thing. What in the heck? All right, uh, any SD card? No. Ew. Oh my goodness. This thing's like caked with dirt and dust around this SD card port right there. Ew. All right, let's, let's plug it in and see what it does. Plugged in, got our little styrofoam friends. Let's turn it on. It's got pop. Hold on. <laughs> The disc sounded really weird when it first started spinning up. Now there is a disc inside I can sell. Let's go ahead and eject it. Probably another Wii Sports. Uh, what? Oh, come on. Turn, <laughs> got a fishing game, man. And this thing is scratched up like crazy too. Man, that is, that sucks. Let's put it back in and see if it works. Dude, I swear, <laughs> Wii's are like the most durable thing of all time. Like they, these things can look disgusting. Like somebody tossed it off a, off a 20 story building and it's still playing uh, Rapala Tournament Fishing. I don't even know how to say that. Rapala Tournament Fishing. And uh, yeah, nothing nothing crazy going on here. No downloaded games or anything. Um, let, me, let me go ahead and boot up this game. <laughs> okay, we have one one piece of save data from Caleb back in 315. I don't know if that's March 15th or March 2015, but I'll, I'll boot it up and I just want to do like one swing and see how this game is. Let's go finally through it. This game is, it's not quite as bad as the one we played earlier in this, in this, uh, in this video, but Still pretty bad. I, maybe it's just because I don't fish, so I don't understand what I'm doing. But let's go ahead and go back to the main menu and check out the Mii's. Oh, yeah, we got some Mii's here. We got about 12, maybe. 14, actually. Let's go check them out. Cindy. Billy. Bob Rai Rai Rai. <laughs> cool dude. Oh, yeah, he's looking pretty swaggy. Got his sunglasses on and the, the, the stash. Nerdster. <laughs> nerd. Definitely looks like a nerd. Ninja. Oh, yeah, he looks pretty sneaky. I love how all the... You can just definitely tell it was like an eight-year-old who thought they were clever when they made the made the names and the, and the, the me characters. I mean, they were pretty clever, not gonna lie there, but uh, let's go ahead and check out the last time this game was played. Oh, yo, December 2020, here we go. Okay, okay, yeah, they're playing in 2020, we play. So this is definitely a person that pulled out their, <laughs> probably like a lot of people pulled out their Wii in 2020 when they were stuck at home. But yeah, last but not least, let's check out the console nickname, Justice. That doesn't match any of the me's there, but all right, you do you. Console works though, uh, did it have, had a free game? Yeah, it had, Rap <laughs> it had Rapala. Uh, I'm calling this like a four out of 10. Uh, but guys, let's move on. So next up, we have a pretty normal looking Wii, except for I just tilted it. There's a lot of stuff inside of here that's broken. I don't, oh man, that's not great. Um, but physically it looks fine. No flaps or anything. Any SD card? Nope. But let's uh, let's plug it in see what it does. All right, two, two, one. Got power, <sighs> no game inside. Man, I've been really lacking on free games in this episode. Disappointing, but let's go ahead and uh, see if it works. What in the world? I have never seen that before on a Wii. It is, 
you can just, it's straight up flashing. Like you can see that the, the, the health and safety warning is popping up, but it's flashing. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get past the screen at least. Yep, there it is. Okay, oh, we can see some stuff here. So this is really similar to what we I had in like a video months ago in the Hampton Hall, uh, where it's probably got a bad capacitor inside that needs to be replaced because it's like, it's very dark, but you can actually see a bit better than you could on that one. I can, it's flashing every once in a while, so I can, <laughs> I can at least see if there's anything interesting on it. Um, and yeah, it looks like it's, yeah, let's put a game in though. <laughs> just see if it works. I mean, despite all that, you can tell that the, the Wii Sports is loading up. Wait, 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 for a second, it almost like <laughs> stayed going. Wait, wait, wait. Every once in a while, it stops flashing. <laughs> Maybe I can get this thing to stay on long enough that I can actually check out like the Mies and stuff. Okay, well, it stopped flashing eventually now. And yeah, we're booted up here. Why does that look so, wait, why does that me look so high quality? Like, you know what I'm saying? It looks like an HD me. Everything else looks very generic and cartoonish. And then you got this one over here that like looks very HD me. Uh, that's, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, let's go back to the main menu and see if this console just stopped flashing for good now, maybe? I mean, yeah, for sure it's, it's stopped now, but let's go ahead and, I'm gonna boot up Wii Sports and uh, see if it works there too. <laughs> All right, booting up baseball, I got Chuck with the zero skill level, which is unfortunate, but let's see if we can get a hit. See ya. Let's go home run, baby. All right, let's go back to the main menu here and check out the last time this thing was played. Oh, here we are, December 2014. We got some play date. <laughs> this person little bit was saying I had fun today. They didn't play any. They didn't play any Wii. They just said I had fun today. That's hilarious. Oh wait, wait, wait. Get some play data on December uh, 19th here. A bunch of just random stuff. Check me out channel for one minute. That's disappointing. That was one of my favorite channels of all time there. But not too surprising to see some play data around Christmas time. I see that a lot on Wii's where you see just, yeah, people playing, coming back and playing Wii with their family back in, you know, December around Christmas, I guess. Uh, but last but not least, let's check out the console nickname. Twonky. <laughs> what? All right, well, this console's working. Uh, now, I will say, it was weird earlier how we were having that flashing screen. I almost wonder if I can, I'm going to try to basically turn it off, unplug it for a minute, and then plug it back on, plug it back in, turn it back on, and see if it still happens. Yeah, it's still fine. So there's two things. That it definitely could be a capacitor issue because resolving itself after a few minutes definitely feels like a capacitor issue, or it could just be my AV adapter thing acting up again and it just decided to flash or whatever. I don't know. I'll test it again later, but for now, I'm calling this a 6 out of 10 garbage because it, it might be good, but it might not. So uh, let's move on now. All right, guys. So last but not least, we have one Wii left, and this thing looks pretty gross on top. It almost looks like Magic Eraser because there's so many scratches. Also got just like kind of brownish gunk all over it which is just not not great. No flaps, pretty dusty, no SD card, but let's uh, plug it in, see if it works. All right, I really want a free game in this one. Let's turn it on, got power. <sighs> no free game again, dude, that, <laughs> dude, I, I was, I had so many free games in the first episode and just, just nothing here, hardly in the second one. By the way, if you didn't see the first episode, I'll throw it on the screen here. Me <laughs> Yo, we got some stuff. We got uh, just video channels, plus the Mario Kart channel, which is cool. You don't see that too often on Wii's. I'm gonna boot that up actually. Okay, and I put in a game as well, and it's it's really slow to pull them in, so it's got a probably got some dirty rollers. We'll see if it loads up. But uh, yeah, oh wow. But yeah, as soon as we boot up the Mario Kart uh, channel, we we got player super generic, and he's got everything, gold, everything. That's awesome. We got Wario down here, my man. Um, but yeah, I just put in Mario Kart here. So let me go ahead and go back to the the main menu and see if Mario Kart is actually reading. Nope. Uh, it tried to read for about two seconds and then quit. So. Finally ran into a, me, uh, a Wii that doesn't read games. But let's go ahead and check out the me situation. Oh, yes, finally. This person was definitely living on the Check Me Out channel, just like me. We got a, a rabbit, we got another rabbit. Oh, these are like the, the what do you call it? The It's like that game that's about rabbits. I can't remember what it's, what it's called. Um, what? Dude, is that the Mona Lisa? No, that that's awesome. Dude, we have so much. You just got stars, gibberish, baby Luigi. Wait, how did they do that? Whoa. So I got the stash and the glasses down here, but then the eyes and the, the mouth are up. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I've never seen that before. I got a lot of those too. <laughs> baby Mario, baby Peach. Whoa, baby Peach looks scary. Bob's a boy. <laughs> what is that, a goat? What am I looking at? Girl weird. <laughs> and now we get to the gibberish section where it's just a bunch of random letters. <laughs> nice. Yo, what? How did they do that? Dude, the, <laughs> it looks like a super buff girl. That's, that's awesome. Troll face. Oh yeah, it does look like the troll face. That's awesome. Wario, yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I, I love how people used to be really creative with the Miis. I mean, you can do just you can just do so much cool stuff with Miis. I mean, as you saw here. Um, let's go ahead and go back and check out the last time this thing was played. So guys, we're in November 2014. I actually found some save data on the 26th here, or not save data, just some play history. 
<laughs> we got Amazon Instant Video for 23 hours and 59 minutes. I always, I always love to see that. That's hilarious. Well, last but not least, I got to check out the console nickname because I imagine after we saw that me situation, there's, there's got to be an interesting nickname here. So let's, let's see. Weeby, yes. <sighs> Finally, something interesting. I love it. Weeby, that's <sighs> so good. Um, <laughs> actually, one more thing. Let's check out the save data. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this person only got 40 blocks open, so you know they use their, their Wii a lot. Um, even Door the Explorer, and yes, we got Finney's and Ferb. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, cool. Well, this, this Wii, uh, not great. I mean, ugh, dude, I'm going to give this 1 out of 10 garbage score just because it had all the, all the Miis. It doesn't work, but it has all the Miis, so it's pretty cool. Um, now, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. And, of course, if you want to check out the last video in this series, Hit that link right there. But guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.